Welcome to the tutorial on making PDF files more accessible with Adobe Acrobat Professional Version 9. There are several Acrobat features that you can use to make PDF files more accessible for reading. You can add text to pages that have been scanned with a scanner. You can convert untagged documents to tagged PDF files. You can edit the reading order and the document structure. And there's a security setting that allows screen reader access while preventing text copying. I'm going to start with a demonstration on dealing with files that have been scanned. This is a document that I know is not a readable document, and in checking a document for accessibility you could do different things like trying to copy and paste text and it's not letting me, and try to get it to read it out loud to you. Now when I do that, it'll come out and say that this is only an image of a scanned page and there are no text characters and it wants to offer a character analysis to make the text accessible. You could say OK there and it will start the OCR process for you. The alternative for that is to go to Document, OCR Text Recognition and then choose Recognize Text Using OCR. There are several options you can pick. For instance, you could choose the language it should be using so we're using the United States version of English and there's three different choices for the output image. If you need to get the file size to the smallest and something that might be easier for you to work with, choose clear scan. However, if you're working with an article where it's extremely critical that the PDF file look like the original, you're going to want to choose one of the searchable image choices. Now you'll notice one of the things it did was it straightened up any skewing that was present during the scan. And if you did the scanning with Adobe Acrobat, it will do OCR automatically as part of creating the scanned file. Now I have text that can be selected, copied, pasted, and screen readers can now read this text. And the Read Aloud feature with Adobe Reader can now read this text. However, this OCR process is not perfect and it might have misread some characters here or there. If it is really important to you to get highly accurate text, you're going to want to save it as a TXT file or a Word document and spell check it and edit it in that other environment and then use that document. There are things you can do in Adobe Acrobat that you can't do in Microsoft Word, one of which is to set the language. Getting the tab order consistent with the structure, this is just a process to be absolutely sure that the document structure is being used as the tab order. And then the table headings for tables, which is another topic I'm going to demonstrate. To change the language, go to the File menu, and then Properties, and then the Advanced tab. And down under Reading Options, there's a drop-down box for choosing your language and pick English and then choose OK. And then we want to get the tab order consistent with the structure. So over here there are several tabs available to us. We want to bring up the Pages panel and then select All Pages. I usually do a shift click to select all of the pages. And then there's an Options button. It looks like a couple of little cogs. And then I choose Page Properties. And for the tab order, I'm going to choose Use Document Structure and OK. One of the features to increase accessibility in your PDF file is to establish table headings for rows and columns. I'm going to go to Advanced, Accessibility, touch up the reading order, and then when I right click on the table, I choose Table Editor, and now my table has little red lines around it. I can now right click on a table cell and choose Table Cell Properties, and designate a particular cell to be a header cell, and what scope does it have? Is this a row header or a column header? And then click on OK. If you have a table with data in it, Setting the header cells make it easier for a person who's using screen reading software to read the data in the table. Okay, so I now have a table that has been completely marked up correctly. Now there's other types of tagging that you can do. 
to establish or modify the read order of the text in your document, and this will ensure that when you do bring in the reflow option, that the text is reading in the correct order, that there aren't other blocks that are interrupting what you are reading. If you want to check to see that your document has been tagged, look for this down under File, Properties, and Description Tag. Look there to see if it says Tagged PDF. The other technique is to bring up the Tags panel. And if you don't have a button on your choice of panels there that looks like a little luggage tag, then you would go to View, Navigation Panels, and then choose Tags. And there's a way that you can dock the panel with the other panels on the left there. You can control some of the tagging. If you're dealing with a document that doesn't have any tags, for example, this newsletter does not have any tags because it was created from someone who just took a Word document and printed it to PDF. You can let it make a good guess at creating tags for you with Advanced, Accessibility, Add Tags to Document, and it will do what it can. And then you can make changes to that with Advanced, Accessibility, Touch Up the Reading Order, where there's figures with no alternate text, you can work with that by right-clicking on the figure and choosing Edit Alternate Text. Then you can change the structure of things. For instance, you might want to put things in a different order, and the Order panel is a handy thing for that. You can move items by dragging and dropping them, and that will change the order of the tags in the document itself. Now I'm going to work with touching up the reading order. What we have here is an example of a little permission block in the bottom left hand corner, and right now when we go to Advanced Accessibility, touch up the reading order, we notice that it's item number 11 and I would rather have it be read right after the title of the document. And one way of changing that is with the order panel. I can take item number 11, drag it so that it appears after item number 1, and I have now changed the reading order. Now in this case, I let it add the tags for me. If you chose not to do that, you can add the tags manually with the touch up reading tool. Notice that your mouse is now a crosshair. You can select some text on the document and then mark it as text. Now some text, it doesn't see as text, it sees it as an image. For instance, this July image, so you can designate text and images there by using a different button and again right-click and choose the alternate text.